So if there's a qualification that you have to meet that the child is basically living with you and the child uh, passes away, dies in that year, then of course, well, they, they may not have lived with you for that whole part of the year, but then you would think the question would be, were they living with you for the part of the year that they were with us during that time frame? So that would be, again, somewhat of an unusual, hopefully, exception. So similarly, if you adopted the person for whom you kept up a home in 2023, the person was lawfully placed with you for legal adoption by you in 2023, or the person was an eligible foster child placed with you during 2023, the person is considered to have lived with you for more than half of 2023 if your main home was this person's place, uh, main home for more than half the time since the person was adopted or placed with you in 2023. So you can see whenever we put in these kind of laws in place, obviously, <laughs> if you get imaginative, you could start to think of many different exceptions and the country being as large as it is, there are those exceptions have come to play most of the time. So if the law has been in place, these questions have probably been thought about so we can basically drill down and do some research on it and see what the, the what the applicable process would be in that type of situation. So married person who live apart. So even if you weren't divorced or legally separated at the end of 2023, 